Laura, you've obviously been with the women's team for quite a while now, but can you just give us a bit of background and what your journey's been like? Um, so, I first started about 10 years ago when we became Morton Women. We moved over from Port Juniors. Um, so at that time it was Leanne McPhail that kind of drove that forward with Warren Hawk as the CEO. Um, it was quite a, a different um, experience from what we were used to, like being involved with Morton and the biggest team in Inverclyde. Um, so yeah, I started off, that would have been the under 15s. Then we progressed obviously to under 17s at the time. And then in the past um, five or six years, we became the first ever women's team for Morton and Inverclyde. Um, I think it's been quite quite a long 10 years and it's been a lot of transitions and different managers and different players have came and um, a lot of different experiences. Um, obviously we had COVID in amongst there where we missed two or three seasons and I would have reached my 100 games a lot sooner had it not been for COVID. And also I done my cruciate ligament in 2022, April, I think it was April time that I ruptured my ACL which also led to me being out for a year. So I think there was maybe three or four years where I stopped playing football. And it was really noticeable during that time that um, it was a big part of my life and it was something that um, I really missed. And from playing at under 15s level all the way through um, and missing those four years, it was, it was noticeable that it was something that I wanted to continue and strive towards getting back to playing as quickly as I could as I know that um, it's so beneficial, not only for my physical health, but also mentally being involved with a team and the social aspect of meeting new people and um, yeah, pushing myself forward. Yeah, you mentioned a, a lot of things there about you know, you know the Im impacts that you've had and, and in terms of the things that you've been through, but I suppose a big achievement for yourself was recently hitting the 100 game mark. Um, obviously hitting 100 games was a really big achievement for myself because there was times throughout that year of 2020, moving into 2023, that I considered playing if I was going to even be able to come back and play. I was obviously really fortunate that the club supported me through um, paying for physio with Alison Fielding and also like going up to Professor Mackay in Ross Hall and I managed to um, get like top, top range treatment that allowed me to come back with five or six months time, um, which is kind of unheard of because people with a cruciate sometimes ends their career. So I don't take um, reaching 100 games lightly, like I don't take it for granted. I was really, um, it was quite an emotional time, like receiving my shirt and stuff at the end of, end of the year because it's been a difficult year for various reasons. Um, we've had a lot of different managers come in, um, we've had players leave, we've had new faces around the women's team that we didn't have before. Um, so it's been a challenging challenging year, so to have reached my 100 games during that difficult period, it was kind of a little bit of sunshine at the end of a difficult storm really for this year. Um, but looking forward, we're hoping that next year we can hit the ground running and the club can, the women's side can progress the way that we know that it can and the group of players that are there, we're all capable and we are good enough to compete with the cha in the championship and I'm hoping that next year um, we are able to be in the top half of that the table. It's obviously as well been a bit of a transition period for the women's team and I know that since Dale's come in he's made a, a big impact in terms of you know trying to move things forward and, and you know you know improve a lot that's going on with the women's team. Yeah, um, with Dale being on board it's, it has changed um, recently. Obviously we had a manager step away um, due to circumstances and then Dale and Brian have been required to, to come and take us for the past few weeks. And obviously um, having them in, it's, it's a different kind of style as to what we're maybe used to. Um, we were playing very defensively over the past few weeks, but they came in and kind of gave it a new lease of life and allowed us to express ourselves on the park. So it was interesting, the three games in charge, I'm sure Dale would want me to get this in, that I think they had a 66% win rate. Um, so we managed to beat Renfrew, who are a team that we struggle with every time we come up against them. So we won 4-2 against them. Um, and then we we travelled to, to Drybra on a Friday night and Dale and Brian, they, they show their commitment through coming in, managing their full-time jobs at Morton with the club, but also stepping in to help the women's team. So it's like a breath of fresh air to have guys on board who want to be there, want to support um, the women's side, who want to push us forward and um, commit to making the game more professional.